Hi team, welcome to this month's property market update for the Tawa to Pukarua Bay area. This month we're going to talk about long term interest rates being on the rise, a property market that is slowing down, as well as looking at some local recent sales. The May sales stats are in and there were 81 sales in the local area. Prices are still holding firm at really high levels, but seem to have stopped increasing like they have been for the past few years. The highest sale price was $1.75 million for a family home in Whitby and the lowest sale price was $537,500 for a four bedroom home in Judgeford. Some standout sales from our collective team for the month were 30 Penguin Grove in Waitangiroa, 63 inspections, 6 offers, sold more than 125% above RV. 3A Balliol Drive in Tawa, 20 inspections, 2 offers, sold nearly 70% above RV. 7 Bar 14 Ngāti Toa Street in Tawa, 10 inspections, 2 offers, sold more than 85% above RV. 3 Aparangi Crescent in Elsdon, 69 inspections, 11 offers, sold more than 80% above RV. Last month we talked about signs that the market was starting to slow down. With lower open home numbers and less offers coming in on each property compared to the past few months. Just three weeks after our video was published, more evidence hit the media that the slowdown is now well underway. Major banks started to announce short term interest rate reductions, but most importantly, long term interest rate increases, signalling that long term interest rates are no longer going to continue to fall. This obviously increases the cost of borrowing in the long term and further reduces competition in the property market. Less competition means prices will most likely flatten out. Now the signs are not there yet for a price drop and it does look unlikely that if there is a drop there will be anything significant. So what does this mean for home sellers? It means that presentation is still very important, the best presented properties are still going to get the most inquiry from the market. Good marketing is also key. Just putting an ad on Trade Me will get you 80% of the buyers in the market, but the best result is never achieved with only 80% of the buyers. For buyers, this change means a period that they've probably been waiting for for quite some time. A little bit less competition, less pressure, and prices that are not increasing week by week. Prices, however, are likely to stay high, so sitting around waiting for some sort of price crash that's unlikely to happen is probably not the best strategy. With such a low number of listings on the market to choose from, it's still a great time to sell with less competition from other properties. These same low listings can still make it a frustrating market for buyers looking for that right property, but persevere. If you miss out on one, two or three, there will be another one in a few weeks. That's our collective market update for June. On behalf of our collective team, I'll see you again next month.